Welcome back. Time for some more unboxing. Uh, this time we're gonna do four unboxings in one video. Uh, been busy the last week or two, so I had a lot of boxes coming in, but didn't have time to do individual box or unboxing videos. So instead of doing four separate videos and boring the crap out of you, uh, decided to do four all together. Just kind of a mega unboxing, I guess, for March. So uh, let's get started. First one is going to be Loot Crate for March. So, and uh, <clears throat> this month's theme for Loot Crate was uh, battle, I believe. So it's, it's going to be a bunch of stuff with like versus kind of fitting with Batman versus Superman coming out, which I went and saw uh, last night finally. Tried to go opening night, but the theater I went to got a bad corrupt file. Had to refund everybody's money. Nobody could see it the first night. Kind of sucked, so I had to wait till last night to finally see it. Uh, it was good. It was, uh, I mean, it's not as good as the Marvel movies. It wasn't quite what it could be. Uh, the editing was kind of choppy all over the place, but uh, I mean, I still liked it. Affleck was pretty awesome as Batman. I, I think he's a lot better than Bale. I was never a big fan of Bale. Um, Wonder Woman stole the show. She was awesome. Just that moment, seeing the Trinity together with all three of them was awesome. So, let's see what we got. So, first off, right away, we got a vinyl figure. Looks like uh, Alien vs. Predator. So you can either get an alien or a predator. And uh, it is a Loot Crate exclusive. This figure is only going to be found in Loot Crate. So, and we got the alien. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, I believe his head glows in the dark uh, on the slashes uh, from the scene in Alien vs. Predator with the net that tightens up around his head. So that's cool. Add that to the collection. Uh, next up we got a t-shirt. Got uh, Spock versus Evil Spock from the classic uh, Mirror Mirror episode of Star Trek. If you're a Star Trek fan you'll know what I'm talking about. So that's cool. Um, next we got a beanie like a daredevil beanie and it's reversible so on the inside you got Punisher that is awesome so I just finished watching daredevil season 2 or I'll, as I, I like to say it's Punisher season 1 um, I'm a huge fan of both I've got a lot of daredevil uh, single number issues from the 60s you know his, his early beginnings uh, Punisher used to play the NES game all the time I still have it I still break it out every once in a while uh, tons of Punisher comics growing up. Uh, still have all those, so I'll definitely wear this a lot. Um, next, got a Batman vs. Superman paper wallet. So that's cool. I'm not sure if I'll actually use it, because I do have my own <laughs> wallet. Uh, but that's cool, you know. It's got both Batman and Superman on there. Um, up next, we've got uh, the pin, loot pin of the month, which has an alien and a predator on there. If you can see that. So that's cool. Um, what's next? We got a Harley Quinn one shot loot crate exclusive comic book. That should be cool. I love Harley Quinn. <clears throat> um, and we've got. Our loot magazine, loot crate magazine, that has all the goodies in it like every month. So we got, looks like kind of a Daredevil Punisher type cover. And then on the back, Batman Superman type figures. Um, got a card here for a game called Word Gush. Uh, it looks like you play it with your cell phone. It's one of those ones where you hold it up to your forehead and people give you clues and you try and guess things. So that's cool. Um, and then our box. Got a little Alien vs. Predator themed inside there that you can fold out, make a little diorama or whatever. Um, I usually just toss the boxes, I'm not done the room for all that, so. Um, next up, we're going to do Horror Block. So 
Uh, we got an order block. I believe this actually this is actually February's order block. Uh, they usually send them late and they don't get here until the following month. But first off, uh, we got shopping block playing cards. Some horror block special playing cards. Looks like all the jacks, queens, kings face cards are horror villains like Jason, uh, the twins from The Shining, Freddy Krueger, uh, a bunch of other main well-known uh, horror movie killers. So that'll be cool to play with. Um, get that back in there. Uh, we also got t-shirts, as always. Looks like uh, Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon t-shirt with the skull, and I believe that's uh, the wings from the back of his biker vest, and of course you got the, the arrow from his crossbow there. That's cool, I'll definitely wear that. Big fan of The Walking Dead. Pretty excited for the season finale coming up this week. Uh, next, you got a zombie finger wine stopper. Never let your wine turn. Looks like it's just kind of a little rubber zombie finger that you can use as a wine cork for your wine bottle. Uh, the girlfriend will uh, enjoy that. She's the wine drinker, not me. And she loves her zombies, so we'll definitely use that. Uh, next, a zombie bottle opener. Looks like this is also another exclusive. I think pretty much everything in this month's uh, box is all exclusive to the horror block. You can only get it here, so that's kind of cool. This is pretty heavy duty metal uh, bottle opener. Little zombie head. You open it with his mouth. So that's cool. That's kind of. Uh, I'm trying to think of the video game that that looks like it's from. Um, where you're on the island, uh, Rip Tide or something like that. Um, next, Zombie Egg Apocalypse, Egg Cup, Spoon, and Toast Cutter. So that's cool. You got your little zombie egg cup, put your egg in there, and you can crack his head open. It looks like it comes with a little shovel that you can scoop out the brains with. Your little food cutter there. Uh, looks like you can make little toast. Uh, swords, bats, knives, and guns. So that's cool. Don't really use the uh, egg cups much for eggs, so that'll probably just end up being more of a decorative thing. And as always, we got our issue of Rumorg magazine. Tons of info on what's coming up in the horror genre of everything: movies, books, music, video games, all that. Awesome magazine, always a good read. Uh, got a little postcards. This one talks about all the little goodies inside. Um, next month's box will have stuff from the ring in it and more exclusive things. I actually don't think I'm getting next month's box. I put my account on hold for the month, so we'll skip a month and see the following month. Um, Sorry if I seem like I'm rushing through. Uh, I see my battery light flashing on the camera, and I don't want to have to stop it and do another take of this video. So we'll see if we can make it through before the battery dies. Uh, up next, Sci-Fi Block for March. First up, we got a t-shirt. All kinds of t-shirts this month. Um, Rock'em Sock'em Terminators. That's cool. Uh, I'm a fan. I a decent fan of the Terminator. I've, I've watched the movies. I'm not a diehard Terminator fan, but it's cool. Um, and Rock'em Sock'em, I, we actually just got a Rock'em Sock'em set to play with for Isaac's birthday last month. So that's cool. Got a uh, nice drink cup here with Weeping Angels from Doctor Who on it. I'm pretty sure that the girlfriend's going to steal that from me right away. Also, along with this, get rid of the cover there, um, Doctor Who TARDIS lunchbox with some sort of Doctor Who playing card game. I'll have to check that and play that. I'm just pretty stoked about the box. I'll use that for something, store something there, take my lunch to work. We've got a 
little Funko Pocket Pop keychain of Baby Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. That's cute. That girl from probably steal too. Pretty sure this whole box is is gonna end up going to her, um, whether I like it or not. Uh, next up, we've got Morty Pass from this element. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure Loot Crate had one of these a few months ago, which is kind of cool because I skipped a few months of Loot Crate, and uh, so I missed out on getting my Multi Pass. And lo and behold, I got it in my Sci-Fi block, so that worked out for me, I guess. Um, also got a reaction figure from the Fifth Element with Lilu in her strap costume. Uh, it looks like they've got all different characters from that that you can get. Um, got a Boba Fett print, kind of in the style of the old uh, toys from the original movies, the, the backgrounds that they had, so that's cool. That'll go on the wall. Uh, as you guys know from watching my videos, huge Boba Fett fan. Uh, just got a, a really awesome statue for the collection. Um, I, and I got, uh, the girlfriend got me a Boba Fett chocolate Easter bunny uh, last weekend for Easter. So, and then we got next month, Star Wars, Doctor Who, Firefly, and E.T. stuff. That's kind of cool. Uh, another card talking about what's in the box. That's it for that one. Last but not least, we've got our Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty from Funko. Open this baby up. We've got our pins, our patches, like every box with these. Uh, this month's theme is uh, Cantina, so it's going to be all characters from the Cantina. Um, so like the pin is from the Cantina Band. Um, and then open it up. We've got a Chewbacca pop figure pin. Uh, that girlfriend will steal right away. She's a huge fan of Chewbacca and Han. Um, we've got a t-shirt. Open this baby up. So, nice wanted poster for Han Solo there. Girlfriend will probably take that too. It's her favorite character, so uh, that I don't mind. She can she can take it if she wants. Um, we also got two two pop vinyl figures this month. That's awesome. Uh, so it looks like they're both exclusives to the box. We got the red red snaggle tooth, which I believe they were doing a blue snaggle tooth variant also that you could get that was slightly different, kind of a play on the old. Uh, action figures that came out in the 70s or 80s where they messed up um, the action figures and sent out the wrong kind, uh, which I believe the, were the blue ones, um, and then the red is the correct one, so that's cool. And then a Ben Kenobi figure, he's got his little lightsaber, so that's awesome. Add him to the Star Wars vinyl figure collection that I got going up in the cabinet here. Um, so yeah, that's it. Quick, fast, four boxes. Not wasting your guys' time. <laughs> um, so, come back soon. Uh, I think we'll be doing a Comic Bento box again uh, later this week. It should be coming soon. It's in the mail. Uh, so we'll check that out. Um, other than that, uh, Comic Con, Emerald City Comic Con, next Friday. So I'll be sure to Hopefully get a video of that like I did last year. Um, and then April. April's kind of a weird month. I'm not going to get all my boxes that I usually get for April. Um, we'll still do the Nerd Block Junior with Isaac. Um, I am taking a trip to Vegas later in the month, so maybe I'll have some video of that. We'll see. Maybe finally start doing the uh, somewhat daily blog, vlog daily diary type thing. Um, other than that, yeah. Keep coming back for more unboxings, video game gameplay. Uh, come back for Isaac. His videos are always entertaining and he loves doing them, so we're going to try and do a lot more of those. Um, and yeah, come back. See us again. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you like what you see, click the subscribe button down below. Uh, give us a thumbs up, a like. 
check out some of our other videos and uh, links below to Facebook, Instagram, all the other social media things that we do. Um, yeah, come back, watch us again.